What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to craft tier 3. It's a kind of contentious topic in the WoW verse, but with patch 10.1.5, they made it possible. So if you don't know, tier 3 armor dropped in old school Naxxramas prior to the Wrath of the Lich King revamp. So when Wrath came out, this tier set wasn't obtainable, except from the black market auction house. Now this patch that just came out made these pieces craftable. Uh, it's not easy to craft them, however, so I'm going to go ahead and go through all the prerequisites that have to be done, and all the items you need, and all that. Uh, fair warning, it's not a walk in the park, so let's get started. And also, to be noted, this entire thing was found out by the WoW Secrets Discord community. They find a lot of cool stuff, so I highly recommend everyone check them out. They're awesome. So to craft the tier 3 armor sets for your class, you actually have to unlock old school Naxxramas. But to unlock old school Naxxramas, you have to unlock old school Skullamance first. So we're going to be doing that uh, in that order. So to unlock old school Skullamance, you need someone in your group. You personally don't have to have it, but someone in your group has to have the toy Krastanov's Bag. Now this toy drops from a rare NPC in Skullamance named Dr. Theolin Krastanov. Since Skullamance is a dungeon, um, if he doesn't spawn, you can go out, reset the dungeon, go back in. So like I said, you personally don't have to have that toy, but someone in your group does. And then on top of that, you need three dark runes and five essences of death. Uh, these can just be bought on the auction house. So that's what you need for old school Skullamance. Now, once you unlock old school Skullamance, you then work on old school Naxxramas. Now for this, there's a, there's a couple of factors that go into it. First off, you need an Argent Dawn Commission. Now, I've been playing my character since vanilla. An Argent Dawn Commission is a trinket that you could get back then. It has since been removed from the game, but here it is. See, see even if I mouse over it, it says this has been removed from the game. So if you're a hoarder like me and you've been playing since vanilla, check through your bank to see if you have this trinket. If you don't have it, it's not a big deal. Now, if you know that you've had it at one point, but you deleted it because you're not a hoarder like me, there is an NPC in uh, Chillwind Camp, which is in Western Plaguelands. There's also an NPC in the Bulwark and Terrestrial Glades. Um, both of those NPCs will give you the Argentine Commission if you had it at one point, but deleted the item. Now, if you did not play a WoW back then, so you never got the item, then you will need one Righteous Orb and four True Silver Bars. These can just be bought on the auction house. There will be a step that I'll show you, and I'll show you those NPCs that I just talked about, by the way. Um, but there is a step in here to actually repair a, uh, a cracked Arch Dawn Commission. So you can get those couple of items to repair it. Uh, and then the other thing you need to unlock Old Nax is you need at least to be honored with the Argent Dawn. And uh, you can get, it's been so long since I've gotten Argent Dawn rep. I know you can get Argent Dawn rep from, you know, Lights Hope Chapel in Eastern Plaguelands or Chillwind Camp in um, Western Plaguelands. And, and also there's the bulwark I didn't show up before, but so you need at least honored. Now, if you're honored with the Argent Dawn, you need six large brilliant shards, five arcane crystals, one righteous orb, and then 60 gold. But if you're revered with them, you take that down to three large brilliant shards, two arcane crystals, 30 gold. Uh, if you're exalted with them, uh, you don't need any, any items. It's, it's free. That's all the stuff you need to uh, unlock old Skullamance and old Naxxramas. Now making the actual tier three sets, there's a lot of RNG. It also costs you uh, something like 2.8 million gold. But you know, besides all that, you need to have 20 invader scorch stones, five corruptors scorch stones, which those are gotten from killing undeads in uh, Skullamance and Nax and Strathol and you know, those areas, which we're gonna be doing here. Uh, you also need three dark runes which, as I said, can be bought on the auction house. And then you need one black coffee. There's a few NPCs in the game that can sell black coffee, uh, literally three, but um, I'm going to show you the one in Shatrath because that one's neutral, obviously. So, um, yeah, let's let's get started buying all this stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the auction house and let's see if dark runes are um, expensive right now. 99 gold. Typically, they would be a lot less than this. I'm going to buy them because I don't care. Uh, we need a total of six of them. So three of them is for unlocking Skullamance. Three of them is for unlocking the vendor to make tier three. And then we need five essences of death. So we're going to go ahead and buy five of those. 
And then, like I said, if you don't have the Argentine Commission, then you will need to purchase Righteous Orbs. I'm not going to buy any, but that's them. You also need to purchase uh, four True Silver Bars. There they are there. And then, like I said, depending on your rep, you need to purchase six Large Brilliant Shards, five Arcane Crystals, or Righteous Orb. Um, I'm not going to purchase any of those items since I'm exalted with the Argenton, but just keep that in mind, depending on what your rep is. Now, to buy the black coffee, um, you can buy it on the auction house. It's my realm. It's going for like 70 gold, but um, that's just people buying a whole bunch of them from this NPC and reselling them. You can come to Shatrath. There's this NPC. I think he patrols around this area in Lower City. His name is uh, Kevin Browning, so we're going to talk to him. Five of them is 64 silver, so we got that. And so, just to show you, um, I'm at Chillwind Camp right now in Western Plaguelands. And there's this gnome here. He's the Argent Dawn Quartermaster, Light Spark. Uh, even if you're Horde, you can interact with him. And he, if, if you've had the Argent Dawn Commission in the past, he will resell it to you. Um, otherwise, there's, there's an NPC at the Bulwark. Horde and Alliance can interact as well. It's a troll named Asana. She will also do the same thing. Alright, so first up, we're going to be unlocking Old Skolomance. So, we're at the Skolomance Dungeon in Western Plaguelands. And this was a dungeon that was revamped in, uh, I believe, Mist of Pandaria. So we're going to enter it, and we're actually going to go through the entire dungeon. Okay, so I've just made it through Skullamance. I killed the last boss. Now, when we're in this final room here, we're going to go to this top center room. And then we're going to go to the... Uh, Top left portion right here and this is the room that has that rare that actually drops the toy that we need for this part so I'm standing right on it you're gonna want to use your toy and then we have Eva uh, Sark Sarkov I say her name standing right there so I'm going to now remove the buff she realizes that I'm not her murderer and I will be able to talk to her so talk to her what is written in your journal whatever whatever and then she gave me an inert spectral essence so this essence we're going to use five, uh, five of the essences of undeath and three of the dark runes to repair and now we have a spectral essence and then uh we have eva's femur here we do want to loot this there's a few items around the uh place that we need to loot so that's one of them now we're going to leave that um, last boss room's area, whatever. We're going in the viewing room, the room right before the last uh, boss of Skullamance. And there's a bookshelf right to the right here. And it's kind of hidden, but there is a book that you can click on. It's Eva's journal. So click that. And that's one of the other items that we need. And now we're going to head out of the instance. Okay, so we have left the Skullamance dungeon, and you can actually see, here's Eva Sarkov, right here, at her old spot. Um, she kind of just tells you about the uh, candles, because now we need to go collect, I think it's, I believe it's like five candles. So, we're going to go do that. So, we're over in Eastern Plaguelands now at Corrin's Crossing, and we're going to go into this building here. kind of looks like an inn to get our first candle, and there's a painting right here that you can interact with. Yeah, do that and well if we get this this is an item that we need to we actually trade it to an npc and they give us the candle but we need that item nonetheless next item we are outside of stratholm and we're actually going to go into stratholm Should be it's right there. It should be right here. Undelivered shipment of smokes. So I just entered the entrance. I took a left, took another left, and there's that. This next item is a trampled doll. So we're in Darushire, um, in Eastern Plaguelands, and we're gonna go kind of to the back here. There's gonna be a wagon is the doll oh i was a little bit off the wagon is right here just looks like a typical meat wagon so grab that next item is the deed of anderhal so we're at anderhal western plaguelands 
we're gonna go into the town hall here right here for that and then the last item we're gonna pick up is we're back at skull mats so there is a uh, fountain here we're gonna pick up this bucket of fountain water it has a uh, caradero fountain water so now that we have that please excuse the inventory we're going to actually equip our spectral essence trinket so i'm going to go ahead and equip that there and this lets us uh, see some ghosties so this is these are the npcs that we can turn those uh, items into for the candles we're going to talk to sammy right here and we're going to trade him that trampled doll we got for one of the candles so from that location we're going to go over to the docks for the next npc and it's on one of these docks um here he is rory talk to him trade him the uh shipment of smokes for another candle and then pretty much right next to rory turn around we see artist renfrey i'm gonna talk to her and we're gonna trade the road ahead item for the third candle and then the fourth item we're back uh, near the fountain i'm actually just gonna fly up over here to joseph dirt there's a dirt right here trade the uh, fountain water for another candle and then for the final candle back at the uh like entrance area of skullamance right there we're going to speak to magistrate marduk the last candle right there trade deed of vanderhall we got that now that we have all five candles we have the femur and we have the journal we can now perform a ritual to go to um old uh skullamance or whatever and to do that we're going to enter the entrance of skullamance here we're not going to take a left that is how you get to the, to the mist of pandaria dungeon we're going to go here where all these people seem to be huddled up and i'm going to use my book I'm going to reload my UI and then use my book. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Okay. Now we're performing this ritual. And it should give me uh, an achievement as well. There we go. Memory of Skullamance. So, uh, team right there, perform ritual with Eve's journal. Like Memory of Skullamance. This lets us view the old version of Skullamance by clicking this. And, um... There you have it. Now we're going to move on to Naxxramas. So, now that we are in Old Skullamance, we're actually going to venture through it until we get to Rattlegore's room. So I'm just going to kill bosses that I see. There's probably some boss in this room, but I don't know where. Oh, it's the, the Blood Steward. Now, when you drop down into Rattlegore's room, the first bone pile to the left will have a little something something on it. It will have a, a, a cracked Argent Dawn commission. Now, if you already have the Argent Dawn commission, like I do, I have it equipped, um, then you're not going to see this item. So just make sure you equip your Argent Dawn commission. If you see the cracked Argent Dawn commission on here, then you want to pick it up and then that's when you're going to use your one righteous orb and your four true silver bars to repair it and then once you repair it make sure you equip it and then you want to make sure you uh kill a rattle gore like i just did because he gives you a key viewing room key to go further in the dungeon And now we are in the last boss's room. And what we need to do is go into all six of these rooms here, kill the boss in them, and it will spawn the final boss. Okay, so uh, for some reason I glitched slightly for me. I killed all the six bosses. Uh, I and the 
Dark Master Gandling did not spawn, so I went into a couple rooms and just killed random adds, and then he ended up spawning. So, you might have to do that, just keep that in mind. But anyways, make sure you now have your Argent Dawn Commission equipped. Whether you repaired the one, or you still have your one from vanilla, you need to have this equipped, because you're going to kill Dark Master Gandling, just like that, and he should drop this item. This Dark Master Scorch Stone. You will only drop that if you have your Argent Dawn Commission equipped. This is an item that we're going to turn in, and it will allow us to uh, pick up Scorch Stones again. Now we are at Light's Hope Chapel. We're going to turn it into Duke Nicholas Zervanov. How do you say his name? Turn this Scorch Stone into him. Now we have the ability, once again, to gather Scorch Stones, and we're actually going to head over to Stratholm. Now, here we are at the, uh, this is dubbed the light side of Stratholm, the main entrance here. There's an undead side, but we cannot enter that one first for this part. We have to enter the live side first. We were in here before, I think it was to get one of the items for the candles. Now, what we're doing right now is we have to find an Eye of Naxxramas, which is a ghost NPC that you really can't see unless you're directly on it. So, run into these um, mob groups. Do your AoEs until you find this Eye of Naxxramas. It's, it usually doesn't take very long. Um, this beginning area will usually have one, hopefully, somewhere. Oh, there's one, Eye of Naxxramas. Kill it, and I just looted a whole bunch of crap. Now this gives a ward of Naxxramas. You don't want to use this just yet. What you want to do now is you want to find these supply crates. You only really want to click the ones that have glowy edges on them because the other ones will just have like rats come out of them. And these supply crates will have Stratholm waters. You really need a total of three of them. You need one for this part to unlock uh, old Naxxramas, but then you need the other two to uh, get access to the NPC regarding the crafting of tier three gear. So this is my second one. This will probably have, oh, no, that just had one. Sometimes they have two in them, but get three things of Stratholm Holy Water. And another thing you're gonna wanna do, make sure you have your Argent Dawn Commission equipped so you can get the uh, Invader Scorch Stones, which drop from bosses. So go ahead and kill these three bosses here to get those uh, Scourge Stones. So I am in front of the cathedral here. We're not gonna go into the cathedral, um, and I have my three Stratham Holy Waters and my Ward of Nax Ram. We're gonna go ahead and use the Ward, and then we need to use the Stratham Holy Water on this crystal that's going to appear right here. But I, I have two minutes to do that. So I'm actually gonna take that two minutes to explain the next part, because the next part is actually a little difficult. So after I hit this thing with my Stratham Holy Water, I'm gonna have a five minute debuff. I have five minutes to get from here to the undead side of the dungeon, which is through this gate right here. I have to kill every boss. Not only do you have to kill the three bosses main, around the main ring there, you also have to kill all of the acolytes inside of the, the ziggurat that they're at, because killing those acolytes will actually unlock the gate to uh, get to Revendare. You have to kill Revendare, and then a gate opens up beside him and then you have to go through that gate and you have to do all that within five minutes i'm gonna go and do that now as a hunter really the only things i'm gonna use is my aspect of the cheetah which is on a two and a half minute cooldown and um disengage so let's uh let's get started here so yeah as you see i have that five minute debuff uh also another thing to know because i know some people are going to wonder about this you cannot preemptively go to the undead side of Stratholm, kill the bosses except Revendare, and then come back to do this part. Because as soon as you kill anything around the ziggurats or in the ziggurats, the gate between the living side and the dead side of Stratholm will actually close. So you, you can't you can't cheese it. Um, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna continue on with this and kill those kill those bosses.
Alright, now that I'm towards the end of the dungeon, cutting it a little close, I have less than two minutes. You do have to kill all of these abominations. And then you have to kill a boss right here. And then stay outside here. Come on, get away from me. And kill all of these undead dudes that start spewing out. That volley hopefully will take care of all of them. And then the sentries come out. 40 seconds, I think I got it. I'm not gonna worry about looting Rivendare. Kill Rivendare. And then you're gonna go through this gate. Right here. Oh, and then use your extraction button here. And take him out. And then I got, and then there's like some text at the bottom. As the hand in Axrams burns into a pile of ash, it is clear that the recent events have escalated such that someone should be made aware of them. So now we're going back to Light's Hope Chapel. Back at Light's Hope, right here. We're gonna to speak to Archmage Angela De Santos and explain to her that you just burnt that guy to a crisp. You get a quest. This is where your uh, reputation with Arjun Dawn comes into play. Whether you're honored, you need to turn in all those regents. Revered is a little bit less. If you're exalted, it's free. Now what this quest is gonna do is it's actually gonna empower your uh, commission. So you can now get Corruptor's Scourge Stones in Naxxramas which we do need a, a minimum of five of, and you don't need to have your Argentine commission to, um, or you don't need to have it equipped to actually get those. So turn that in, and you get this achievement towards of the Dread Citadel. There we go. So that's unlocking the ancient secrets of Naxxramas. Now we are at the third um, part of this entire chain, which is unlocking the actual NPC which can give you the uh the tier three patterns so here's a crystal right here it is located right here in uh, eastern plaguelands we're going to click that crystal and it's going to bring us into nax now i don't have my um argentine commission on but i still have the empowered argentine commission because of the quest that i just completed so we have to first construct a grappling hook there's three items we need. First, we're going to go into the Arachnid Quarter and go to the second boss in the Arachnid Quarter, Grand Widow Feralina. So you do need to kill uh, a Nubricon to unlock that gate. So we're going to do that really quick. And make sure you do actually uh, loot him so you get your Corruptor's Scourge Stone. You kind of want to get as many of these as you want, but you do need a uh, minimally five. Okay, we're gonna kill Grand Bono for Alina. And the uh, sewing kit is what we need. So now that we have that, I'm going to go to the end, kill uh, Maxina, and there's a portal from Maxina which brings us back to the entrance of Nax. This will also get us another uh, Corruptor's Scourge Stone. Now I'm in the uh, Construct Quarter, and in this room right here, there's gonna be a hook which is right there. It's connected to one of these vats of slime. And we're gonna grab that hook. That's two of the three items that we need. Okay, so I've just uh, traveled forward a little bit through there and I'm gonna go ahead and kill Patchwork for another Corruptor's Scourge Stone right there. And now the last item that we need is um, we're actually gonna fish it from these slime pools that are on the edges so it's a abominations chain uh, oh my god all right so i i uh got the abominations chain only after three casts so it does not seem like it's very rare to get so we're going to use this to make our grappling hook uh and also by the way your fishing skill does not matter at all so just keep that in mind now that we have that grappling hook we're going to kill the next two bosses. Let's. We're going to kill Grobulus, and then we're going to kill Gluth, and then we need to go to Thaddeus's room. 
Okay, now we're in Thaddeus's room. We're gonna go up the left side. Now, make sure you have um, your five Corruptor Scourge Stones and 20 Invaders Scourge Stones for this part. Uh, you also need the three Dark Runes that you should have from the beginning and the uh, Black Coffee that we bought towards the beginning. And uh, make sure you defeat Thaddeus because that's the only way that the Grappling Hook will actually show up. So, there's a Grappling Hook, we're gonna click it and we're gonna go through the entire, it's like a little puzzle thing, sort of. So we're gonna click this one. Oh. Maneuver our way. There we go. So you can click on them. It says gently poke. It does literally nothing. So this is where our Strathal Holy Water comes into play. We're gonna take one, use it on him. He wakes up and he's gonna have a quest. So with this quest, inconvenience fee. So he's gonna give us a desecrated, one of the desecrated pieces. This is one of the Kind of one of the items that you can use to get the tier three pieces anyways accept the quest and the inconvenience fee is the 20 invader scourge stones five corruptor scourge stones three dark runes and a black coffee give that to him i'm obviously going to pick the male ones because um i'm a hunter and these are bought on account so keep that in mind they are bought on account now what this will also unlock is you can give him scourge stones and he will give you these um these other items, I think they're little chips, bargaining chips. Anyways, accept that. There you have it. You actually, I was a little mistaken. You actually don't need the, the extra Strathom Holy Water. This was just in case you uh, did not have those reagents you just gave him. So you would have to come back to him and throw Holy Water at him. But hey, you now have an extra Holy Water because why not? Now, Zach, uh, what's his name? Zach Gett. He will now actually appear in the center ring. Not only is he here, but he will appear in the center ring of Nax Ramus. So just to kind of show you, I'm going to... So I actually just, I left the dungeon and then walked back in and um, he appeared here. Okay, so that is the entire chain on how to unlock old Skolomance, unlock old Nax Ramus, and unlock the vendor for the tier 3 pieces. So how this works is you can barter with him and he sells these dented... Um, these dented pieces of gear on top of that he sells a slime covered scroll which this uh, reveals a random recipe from naxxramas he sells these phylacter weaves for 2k each this is the main reagent you need to actually uh, craft the tier 3 pieces and then he say sells plagued grain which is a toy he sells this rotten delicious which is actually used to get a mount called the uh, reigns of valiance and then he sells these three or the sorry these four pieces leather working or no sorry tailoring leather working leather working blacksmithing and these recipes create the other main reagent that's needed to make the tier three pieces so only tailors leather workers and blacksmiths can craft it but on top of that as you see there it says requires the achievement drop dead gorgeous to be completed drop dead gorgeous is a feat of strength achievement that only people who got the the actual tier three sets will have so that's just that's just how blizzard wanted to do things so people who got the actual tier three sets are the only ones who can actually craft these pieces to make the tier three pieces. But people who don't have them um, can still get them through crafting orders. 
So the currency for all these are these Death's Bargaining Chips, which the Death's Bargaining Chips, as you talk to them, you turn in one Corruptor Scourge Stone for one Death Bargaining Chip, and you turn in 10 Invader Scourge Stone for one um, Death's Bargaining Chip. So now what you have to do to actually get the, uh, the Tier 3 piece is you have to buy these Dented Raiders pieces. So let's use the Dented Raider, uh, Raider Helmet, for example. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy one just to use it. And I'm going to buy this right here. So using this will have a random chance to actually give me some random helmet on Kalimdor or Eastern Kingdom. The piece that we want for the actual tier 3 helmet is called Lamented Crusader's Helmet. So if we use this, it gave me an overlinked coif. Nice. It's a, it's a gray piece that I apparently did not have the transmog for. So, if you're able to get a Lamented Crusader's piece, you then need to go and put in a work order for either a Cursed Cloth, if you're a clothy, Languished Leather for leather wear, Scourged Scales for a male wear, and then Undeath Metal for a plate wearer. So those are these pieces right here that only leather workers, tailors, or blacksmiths that have that achievement can create. So you put in work order, to get one of those if i'm a hunter i'd get the scourged scales using the scourged scales on a lamented piece of gear will make it a desecrated piece of gear so like a desecrated helmet that desecrated helmet becomes bind on account so i can trade it to a shaman if i want as another male wearer or i can keep it on my hunter and then with that desecrated piece of gear i need to use a lot of flak to weave plus 10 righteous orbs to turn it into the tier 3 respective piece. Like a helmet, for example, requires 280 Phylacter Weave and 10 Righteous Orbs. 280 Phylacter Weave is equivalent to, I think, like 560k. And um, that's how you get the helmet. The shoulders are also 280, the chest is 210, the bracers are 70, gloves are 140, belt is 70, legs are 210, and boots are 140. So a complete set of tier 3 is 1400 Flactor Weave, which is 2.8 million gold. And then you also need 80 Righteous Orbs because it's, it's 8 pieces of gear. And that's how it's done. That is how you get the tier 3. Like I said at the beginning, not so much a walk in the park, but it is possible. But this also allows you to um, buy a toy and also get this get this thing for a mount if you want. Um, but anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video at all, feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next video.